So after I've styled my hair throughout the day, it begins to lose volume and look flat. I was wondering if you could give me a few tips on maybe how to add texture, volume and height to my style. Yeah, so what we do is a new tutorial on um, back combing and using back combing rollers, they're for the best size of like, quick fixes to get some volume. Okay. Cool, we're done. Thank you. The seat? How much? That's the one we do first to use dry shampoo. I can't spell dry shampoo too close as well, with it goes white. My section by section, so I hold it up. A little bit of hairspray in, and then just push it down. Yeah, so you need to make sure you have a proper back comb. So these bits are very important. You can just kind of tease the back comb out after. See? So they like it all. So I get rid of the mat look? Yeah. Whilst maintaining the volume. Ah. Very good. So then we've got the look you want. Spray my face after. And the thing I like about rocking your hairspray <clears throat> is it's not too sticky or heavy, so if you want to kind of mould it after you can, like just keep it too. Awesome. Yeah? Is it when you want to Brush back home now. You need to make sure you start from the ends and just sort of work your way up. And try and always brush it out before you go to sleep, like brush it away from the morning. So from ends to root? Yeah. So when you put a roller in. Why did you choose that size? Because the length of your hair. Okay. So you want to, if you go too big, you won't be able to wrap it around the hair. So what you want to be doing is sort of pulling the hair into a point. Putting the roller in on the end and literally just sort of rolling it. Using a curvy grip, you can just literally. So the main priority is to make sure you're getting, lifting those roots up so you can see I'm putting quite a bit of tension in there. Mm -hmm. so, um, Give me a face. Yeah. Yeah, so that's like the main priority. Once your rollers are in, to heat it up, you can just literally put a, like a low heat on the hair dryer. And then you can cool it down again after. And then take your rollers out. Wow. And then it just sits like that. Yeah, so that obviously you can kind of style it again after. Yeah, it just means that you've just got that, that root lift and got a good base to work with. And then you kind of texturise it after. Pearl style. We do this in a small version and a big one. So it's like travelling or just put in a handbag. And you can them out. So what's that, like hair wax? Yeah, it's kind of like um, a styling gel rather than a wax. Okay. Which means it's mouldable, so you don't want that sort of fixed look. Yeah. And then a bit of hairspray over the top. Please, that'd be great. Cool, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so before I start any look, I always put dry shampoo first. It's just a good kind of, just a hair good base to work with. What one are you using there? Um, I'm using the Kevin Murphy Do Over. So it's actually a dry shampoo hairspray as well. So it's really good to give the hair texture. So the first thing we're going for is just great texture basically. So I'm trying to tell you because know, you've got a nice bit of length to work with. You can um, sort of get a little bend in there and literally just sort of give it a little bit of root lift and just bend in there. Okay. Yeah, so that's the first thing we're going to do. What would you use there? So I'm using Pearl Style Up by Willa, a sort of a light style of gel. You put it in the roots first and then style. So you want to get more of a kind of forward texture look this time. Always get the product, you always add more, like right? it's better to start off small and then add more to it immediately. We're going to get some wax, two sets. 
So what, what's that the only thing then? Um, the night rider wax. So just to, what you can do is just literally run it through. So we're going to create a sleek matte look. What's that we're going to use Night Rider texturizing wax. Yeah, so I'm scrunching it to get a bit of texture and hold. Yeah, you just kind of place it with your wax and then get a hairspray after. I'm going to use my hairspray. Looks so creepy. <laughs> just... <laughs> so, so I'm gonna put you in the scenario. I've styled my hair. I'm looking on fleek, and the rain starts. It's humid, arid. <laughs> no, that's the opposite. Of <laughs> so, so I'm gonna put you in the scenario. I've just styled my hair. I'm looking on fleek, and it starts raining. You know, my hair's ruined. What handbag essentials do you recommend to combat this? Okay, so if you've got wet in the rain, I'd say go to the toilet. And what, 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 what hairspray and dry shampoo are you using? Um, I like the Mocknot dry shampoo and I like the Merlin hairspray. Obviously having a hairbrush is the most important thing. Here at Airbrush we can literally put any product you want into like a little takeaway. Okay. So sometimes I'd have um, like a little beach texturising spray in there just to, if it has rain, I'll just like sponge that into my hair rather than trying to kind of straighten it back out again. So, um, on your first visit with us, what you can do is put your little bag, so you can put all your little essentials in there, which everything can fit, um, that way you've got rubbish on your home, you can see things, because you know it's in the video. Thanks for your help today, Sophie. Okay. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Elements, and you can see more like this. If you live in the local area and would like to be featured as a model in one of these videos, please comment below, and we'll be sure to check you out. Lastly, if you've got any questions or scenarios you'd like to throw at us, put them in the comments box and we'll be sure to address them ASAP. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. To get any of the products that you've seen today to use super fast, click in the description below, and don't forget, click here to subscribe to our channel, and here for more videos and top tips to how to feel great about how you look every day. Thanks for watching again, bye.